so the next one which is related to the refraction is refractive index to understand this concept we need to think about snell's law of refraction So, what is the Snell's law of refraction? First one, angle of incidence is equal to angle of emergence, but angle of incident is not equal to angle of re refraction. Second, the incident ray refracted ray comma partially reflected ray and partially reflected ray all lie in on the same plane third one the ratio between the angle of incidence to the sign of the angle of incidence to the sign of the angle of refraction is called refractive index so the sign of the angle of incidence to the sign of the angle of refraction is called refractive index This refractive index is represented by symbol n. Therefore, n is equal to sin i by sin r. But according to the Snell's law of refraction, the sin i by sin r is equal to n is going to change in different forms. Now we will check these forms. So when light is traveling from one medium to another medium, this medium's refractive index is n1 and the second medium's refractive index is n2 where n1 is refractive index of medium 1 n2 is refractive index of medium 2 how can say we can say that uh, medium 1 and medium 2 where the light is uh, where the light is coming out and in which medium it was incident that is medium 1 from which to which it is going that is medium 2 so according to snell's law of refraction snell's law of refraction n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r so in this equation if i wrote n2 by n1 that will become sin i by sin r so n2 by n1 is nothing but refractive index of the medium 2 with respect to medium 1 refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1 
so we can write n2 by n1 is equal to n2 1 is equal to sin i by sin r in other words there is another equation n1 by n2 is equal to n1 2 also that is also from this equation we can write n1 by n2 is equal to sin r by sin i so what is this n12 refractive index of medium 1 with respect to medium 2 so like this we can define the refraction now we will observe some of the natural phenomenon that were associated are examples of refraction so the one of the observed phenomenon of refraction in our natural world is advanced sunrise and delayed sunset we can say that earth is in the spherical shape one person has stand up to observe the sunrise and sunset so his view according to his view we should draw a horizon so this is the earth's spherical surface one person has stand up at one point on the earth to observe the sunrise and sunset so when sunrise has taken place this is the horizon so nothing but the horizontal this is the actual position of the sun means sun is below the horizon when sun under the sunrise so at the time of sunrise these sun rays at the time of sunrise the sun rays has to travel through the air the refractive index of the air is 1 Because of this refractive index, we can say that the position of the sun changes by 1 to 2 degrees. Position of the sun changes by 1 degree to 2 degrees. Because of this 1 degrees to 2 degrees change in the position of the sun due to the refractive index of the air medium. This is the original position of the sun but the sun is appear to be here. So original position apparent position. This apparent position is little bit advanced when compared to the original position. Parent position is in advanced state. That's why this is called as advanced sunrise. But at the time of sunset, this will be the original position. but the sun is to appear to be at here so come here comes here comes here that means this leads to the delayed sunset because original position is advanced at the same time downfall is delayed So what we can understand in the delayed sunset and advanced sunrise. Sunrise advanced by 2 minutes, sunset delayed by 2 minutes. So there will be a 4 minutes difference between the original position of the sun to the apparent position including the sunset and sunrise. So one man is on the surface of the sun is on the surface of the sun. The sun is on the original position. This refractive index of air is 1. This is the 
పొజిషన్ ఆఫ్ సన్ అది వన్ డిగ్రీ నుండి టూ డిగ్రీస్ వరకు చేంజ్ అవుతుంది దీనివల్ల ఇక్కడ ఉండాల్సిన యొక్క సన్ ఇక్కడ మనకు అబ్జర్వ్ అవుతుంది దీన్ని అడ్వాన్స్డ్ సన్ రైజ్ అంటారు సన్ సెట్ అయ్యేటప్పుడు కూడా ఇక్కడికి ఒరిజినల్గా వచ్చినటువంటి సన్ రైజ్ సన్ పొజిషన్ యాక్చువల్గా అది దీనికన్నా కొంత పైన ఉన్నట్టు సపోజ్ ఇక్కడ ఉన్నట్టు లేదు ఇక్కడ ఉన్నట్టు అలా మరలా ఇది ఇక్కడ దిగుతున్నప్పుడు ఇక్కడ ఉంటుంది ఇక్కడ దిగుతున్నప్పుడు ఇక్కడ ఉంటుంది అంటే ఒరిజినల్గా సన్ సెట్ అయిపోయింది కానీ మనకి న్యాచురల్ వ్యూలో సన్ సెట్ అయినట్టు కనిపించదు దీన్ని డిలేడ్ సన్ సెట్ అంటారు సో ఈ టోటల్ డిఫరెన్స్ వచ్చి ఫోర్ మినిట్స్గా ఉంటుంది ఇది అట్మాస్పియరిక్ రిఫ్రాక్షన్ వల్ల కలిగే ఒక ఫలితం సో దిస్ ఈజ్ డ్యూ టు ది అట్మాస్పియరిక్ రిఫ్రాక్షన్ so like this uh, we can define this phenomena now we will discuss a numerical based on this concept so this is the numerical which is based on the concept of uh, atmospheric refraction so the earth can takes 24 hours to rotate once about its axis now how much time does the sun take to shift by 1 degree when viewed from the earth so time taken for 360 degrees shift is equal to 24 hours because earth started at one point after 24 hours there is one complete time period of the earth so time taken for 1 degree shift is equal to how much that is equal to 24 hours by 360 so what is this 24 hours 24 into 3600 seconds by 360 so it is 240 seconds this 240 seconds is nothing but 4 minutes so for the shift by 1 degree when viewed from the earth the time will take by 4 minutes so the next concept is total internal reflection so what we can understand from the total internal reflection before this one we should discuss about the critical angle so what is a critical angle when light is incident at an angle of incidence on the surface of the denser medium for such for a angle of incidence the angle of refraction will become 90 degrees that angle is called critical angle the angle of incidence for such the angle of refraction will become 90 degrees is called critical angle so we can say that n is equal to sin i by sin r yet i is equal to i c r is equal to 90 degrees therefore n is equal to sin i c by sin 90 degrees therefore it is equal to sin i c is equal to n therefore i c is equal to sin inverse n so what is this i c critical angle So, 
మనం డిఫరెంట్ యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్సిడెంట్స్తో లైట్ని మనం ఆ యొక్క డెన్సర్ మీడియా వైపు ఇన్సిడెంట్ చేసినప్పుడు ఒకనొక పర్టికులర్ యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్సిడెంట్స్ దగ్గర అంటే అది ఫిక్స్డ్ వాల్యూ కాదు డెన్సర్ మీడియం బట్టి ఆ వాల్యూ కూడా చేంజ్ అవుతుంది ఒకనొక పర్టికులర్ యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్సిడెంట్స్ దగ్గర యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ రిఫ్రాక్షన్ కంప్లీట్గా నైంటీ డిగ్రీస్ అయిపోతుంది అంటే ఆ రిఫ్రాక్టెడ్ లైట్ రే నార్మల్తో మెర్జ్ అయిపోతుంది అలాంటి యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్సిడెంట్స్ని క్రిటికల్ యాంగిల్ అంటారు అంటే ఐఐసీ అయితే ఆర్ నైంటీ అవుతుంది సో ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఇక్కడ సైన్ ఐసీ బై సైన్ నైంటీ ఈజ్ ఇక్కడ ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఇక్కడ సైన్ ఐసీ దెన్ ఫర్ ఐసీ ఈజ్ ఇక్కడ సైన్ ఇన్వర్స్ ఎన్ సో ఐసీని క్రిటికల్ యాంగిల్ అని కూడా అంటారు ఈ క్రిటికల్ యాంగిల్కి స్లైట్కి లెస్ దాన్ యాంగిల్తో మనం ఇన్సిడెంట్ చేసినప్పుడు కూడా ఈ టోటల్ ఇంటర్నల్ రిఫ్లెక్షన్ మనం అబ్జర్వ్ చేయవచ్చు so how we can demonstrate this total internal reflection let us suppose this is a denser medium this is the rarer medium or we can say this is the rarer this is denser సో వెన్ లైట్ ట్రావెల్స్ ఫ్రమ్ డెన్సర్ టు రేరర్ ఇట్ విల్ మూవ్ అవే ఫ్రమ్ ద నార్మల్ మీన్స్ ద లైట్ రే ఈజ్ మూవింగ్ అవే నాట్ మెర్జింగ్ కంప్లీట్లీ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు ద నార్మల్ అండ్ ఇట్ వాజ్ ద ఇన్సిడెంట్ విత్ అనదర్ డిఫరెంట్ యాంగిల్ లిటిల్ బిట్ బెండ్ అనదర్ రిఫ్రాక్టింగ్ యాంగిల్ ఇట్ విల్ మెర్జ్ విత్ ద నార్మల్ but another angle of refraction so here completely internally down there we can draw the normal line so this first line o a b second line same o c d third line o d e and fourth line o e f the line which represented by oef is called total internal reflection that means when a light ray completely merge with the normal then a bright spot will be appeared this is the incident ray once the refracted ray also merged with the normal the light ray will internally reflected without losing its energy that's why the whole spot of the body appeared as bright this critical angle depends upon the density of the medium depends on density of the medium it lies uh, with different values so some 3 to 6 degrees difference for different values of the medium so such like that we can uh, see the total internal reflection this total internal reflection can be observed with uh, different examples in our natural world so what are those